Camouflage can be a really nice add-on to any of your model armor or diorama. The first camo trip that I will show you is the what we call the Hessian tape. Uh, basically what we're going to use for this particular um, camouflage is some masking tape from uh, Tamiya, but you can also use some regular masking tape, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to just cut some straight line, it doesn't have to be the same size, and but in fact it don't, uh, you don't have to, uh, to uh, cut it on the same size, it's really important. And another thing, it's roughly, I would say, maybe three quarter of an inches. But, uh, but again, you don't have to be uh, like super, uh, super strict with, uh, with your cutting and the dimension that you're looking for. Asian tape is uh, basically random cuts of uh, soldiers, uh, uniform. Uh, that's exactly what they are using uh, for World War II. And uh, we're, what we want to achieve with this is, if you take uh, at the reference, take a look at the reference picture, it's exactly what we're looking for. So that's why, by I would say, uh, putting uh, some layers of masking tape uh, on top of one another, you're gonna achieve a, an amazing result. And for the 135th scale, masking tape is probably one of the best, uh, the best option. That's the result we have. And if you're working on, for example, 116 scale, I will use burlap in this case. So the first part of uh, our paint job is to basically prime everything black. Uh, I'm using black in this case because we're gonna play with uh, different, uh, different green and brown color after that, because like I said, it's a camouflage. So uh, that's why I'm, I'm gonna use those colors. It's going to be a lot easier if you prime your masking tape because it's not, uh, I would say, a um, that something that you normally paint on it. So it's easier to uh, do a really nice uh, prime job on it. So I'm going to use a, a variation of um, of olive drab, uh, a gray green, uh, also. Um, for the brownish brown, I will use uh, US Field Drab. So it's a really nice color and it's always part of the uniform uh, of the British because in this case, it's a British tank. So the Churchill uh, basically are using the same kind of color of a uh, US soldier. So it's not that much different, but like I said, those uh, with uh, all the different uh, layers that we put, the last step is to put uh, a generous wash. I'm using kind of a brown wash and I'm gonna clean the excess with enamel uh, thinner. But uh, if you're basically doing it with acrylic paint, uh, you're basically gonna remove the excess with water. It doesn't really matter. Now it's time to work on the netting. Uh, I have a, a full video on how to do camo net. So it's gonna be a link in the top right corner. So basically you're going to use gauze uh, that you can buy in uh, any pharmacy or even dollar store as some gauze and you're just going to do a mix of uh, green paint. Uh, I would say take the color that you want uh, the final result to be as close as possible. So basically we want to mix our paint with uh, some PVA glue and also some water. This way, uh, with this mix, it's going to be a lot easier. We're just going to plunge uh, our pieces of uh, gauze into it and you're, we're just going to basically um, remove the excess paint and that's it. That's exactly how, how you uh, create some netting. So it's a super easy way of doing uh, awesome details to, uh, like I said, any of your tank, any of your diorama, if you want to add some some net uh, or even um, basically on your your figure or something like that so it's a super easy method and honestly every time I'm doing it I do a lot of different uh, more more than I, I need to because I'm gonna keep it for 
further, uh, further job. What we want to achieve in this case is basically we're going to use our net and we're going to cut uh, approximately uh, the, uh, the pieces that uh, we, uh, we want to uh, glue on the tank. So again, uh, take your time, just make sure that uh, you're going to have a, you don't need to have a, like a precise cut, but uh, as soon as you have, uh, I would say the rough uh, uh, layers of the net you are looking for. And uh, after that, you're just going to mix uh, some PVA glue with water, I would say 50-50 roughly. And again, you're just gonna plunge your net into your mixture of uh, PVA glue and water, and you're just gonna apply it on uh, your tank or, like I said, anything that you uh, you are looking for. In this case, I'm gonna apply it on the turret. So uh, with this mix, it's already gonna be uh, super easy to apply. And uh, when it's gonna dry, it's gonna dry solid, uh, solid art, so it's gonna be um, it's gonna basically stick forever so it's a really nice uh, way of uh, doing uh, some more camouflage and you're just basically you by using a brush you're just gonna adding uh, a little bit more of the uh, water uh, PVA glue solution that you did to basically just make sure that everything will be uh, will be uh, stick will be glue uh, to the turret uh, in this case but by using a brush, it's super easy to apply it all uh, everywhere. The other thing is I'm just going to use a, a Q-tips to remove the excess uh, glue and water. Uh, this way it's not going to be uh, all around. Now we're going to basically work with the rest of the tank. So it's going to be on the front because the Asian tape is going to be uh, uh, around the barrel and our first layer of netting uh, will be on the uh, front part of the turret. So I'm just gonna add some netting uh, on the front part of the tank also. This way it's gonna make your tank uniform and the camouflage will look, I would say, um, real. So that's the main important part for me because I'm always trying to recreate something that is uh, really exists in World War II and I'm um, just try to figure out all the historical feature uh, every time I build a tank or I build a figure or I just need the color to be right and everything like that. The Asian type uh, was used also by the German, by also the US soldiers uh, to basically uh, camouflage, using some camouflage when they want to, to do it. The last and super easy step is we're just going to use uh, some kind of a dry brush using the same color that you apply on your um, your Asian tape. Uh, this way it's going to give you uh, more variety to uh, your netting. So again guys, it's a super nice and easy tips and tricks. I hope you like this one and I just hope that you will uh, do it yourself and see you in the next one.